The John Deere Operations Center is our digital platform for displaying and managing machine and process data. In this video, we will provide you with an overview of its most important functions. If you don't yet have access to the system, please contact your local Fertgen Group subsidiary or dealer. In addition to the web application, we also provide apps for mobile devices. Customers with agricultural equipment should use the Green app. All construction machines from the Fertgen Group and John Deere can be managed using the Black app. First, let us quickly show you how to log in. Open your web browser and go to the operationscenter.deer.com. Select the button marked Log In. Enter first your username and then your password into the respective boxes. Click Log In. If you've forgotten your password, you can request a new one by clicking Need Help Logging In. You will now see the starting screen of the Operations Center. The focus here is on the map, where you can choose to view construction sites or equipment. You can select sites and equipment from the column on the left. At the top of the screen, you'll find the menu. Here, you can choose which part of the Operations Center to display. The map view is the default. Further to the right, you can change individual settings. For example, you could change which company is displayed or personalize your experience. You can change the display of the working area, set notifications, and access the help menu. The main menu links to the Pages map, Set Up, Plan, Analyze, and more. Clicking Map returns you to the main screen. We will show you more details about the map functions at the end of the video. The Setup page is where you will manage different levels of your projects. Geofences, such as deployment areas and curfews, Equipment, for example, machines and devices. Teams, employees, and partners, and existing connections to other software solutions. If you don't see the connection you're looking for, you can have your service provider create one. For further information and additional guides, visit https colon slash slash developer dot deer dot com. On the plan page, you can manually create maintenance plans for your machines or import available plans from the manufacturer. You'll receive automatic notifications when scheduled maintenance times are approaching, giving you time to prepare. Clicking Analyze takes you to a page where you can analyze individual machine data as well as entire fleets and then export the results. You can also create various types of machine reports from here and tell the system whether to produce them once or on a repeating schedule. Thanks to this detailed and individualized information, you'll be able to better judge the performance of your fleet. If you click More, you'll be able to upload and download files and send them to partners or specific machines. Currently, this feature is only available to users in the agricultural sector. Click on the question mark at the top right to access the customer service page. This is where you can find details about current system updates and contact our support team. The help documentation redirects to our FAQ page with detailed explanations about all aspects of the operations center. We are thankful for personal feedback as it helps us adapt our platform to best suit your needs. Your criticism and new ideas are essential for the further development of our system. Clicking on the bell symbol opens the notifications page. This shows things like machine warnings that require attention. It can also display current equipment alerts that can assist you in troubleshooting machine problems. To receive specific types of notifications, create and save a search query with individual criteria and filters. Activate email notifications to stay up to date about your various alerts at all times. 
you will see the name of the company whose machines you are currently viewing in the Operations Center. If you click on this field, you can add new companies or switch between existing ones. The Operations Center allows you to add multiple base locations for each company and to separate machines according to their uses. In this way, you can recreate complex business structures. You can pull up and edit personal settings by clicking on this symbol. This is where you'll find personal data such as your name, address, etc. This is also where you'll find the data protection information. Using the Permissions Manager, you can enable additional services. You can also actively log out of the website in this part of the menu. Let's now look at the map functions. On the map, you'll see the positions of your machines and the routes they've taken. You can choose to also display additional information such as warnings or generated job sites. The slider above the map allows you to limit the time frame shown, so you can follow progress on your construction site step by step. At the top right, you'll see a toolbar with map settings. The topmost button zooms to the entire deployment area. The ones underneath zoom further out or in. You can change the type of map view or zoom to your current position. You can also select which events are shown on the map. Use the ruler to measure distances or area on the map. In the list of machines and equipment, you'll find all the machines you have registered in the Operations Center. Use the search function to quickly locate individual machines. You can also apply various filters to limit your search. To view a machine more closely, select it from the list or on the map. The machine on the map will now be highlighted in yellow. You can change the list settings to adjust how the machines are displayed. It's easy to hide or unhide specific lists. The machine list shows information about each individual machine, such as the hours of engine use and the fuel levels. You can select a specific time range and export the data together with the most recent GPS location. You can also see groupings of machine performance data, information about warnings or service and maintenance details. For even more detailed information, click on Show All Data. This will take you to a new window where you can view individual data points. Job sites are created automatically in the Operations Center. This happens when a machine is turned on or put into active working mode. The job site is highlighted in color on the map. Every additional machine that gets turned on in this area will be automatically grouped with this job site. However, you can always manually reassign machines to other existing sites or create new sites. The default name of an automatically generated site is the nearest street name, but this can also be changed at any time. In the Job Site tab on the left-hand side, you'll find a list of sites. You can filter this list by open or completed sites. Open sites are sorted into active and inactive. A site becomes inactive when no new data has been received in the last six hours. After 72 hours of inactivity, sites are automatically displayed as completed. If you would like to view the site more closely, you can either select it from the list or click it on the map. Once you've chosen a specific job site, the list on the left will display a summary of the data, including things like the fuel consumption of deployed machines and their usage. The specific information and quantity of data shown is dependent on the machine and its output. 